Okay, may I have your attention please? Later from 1.15, we will begin the award ceremony for the Appetizer Hackathon 2022. We would like to request all our distinguished guests in the hall, take your seat on the table and put your mobile phones into vibration or silent mode. And also please wear your mask while the award ceremony is in progress. To all the Appetizer Hackathon online participants team who are accessing online at this moment, please turn on your camera and mute the microphone and kindly wait until we begin. Thank you for your kind cooperation. Thank you.
guys. Once again, may I have your attention, please? To all our Appetizer Hackathon online participants teams who are joining us through the online, can you hear me? Please turn on your camera while this award ceremony is in progress. And also mute the microphone. We are checking all the particip participating teams through the online. Thank you. Okay, then, we would like to request all our guests in the hall take your seat and put your, sil put your mobile phones into vibration or silent mode. Thank you for your kind of cooperation. Good afternoon, everyone, ladies and gentlemen. As you see here, I can see all our online participants teams here through the screen. Hi, everyone. Welcome. All right. Can you see me and hear me clearly? All right, perfect. Thank you. I'd like to express my warm welcome to all of you who are participating in this award ceremony for Appetizer Hackathon 2022. My name is Ryla, your MC for this wonderful event today. It is really good to see you all again. My special thanks goes to the guests and participants team for taking your valuable time out of your busy schedule to attend this award ceremony. This year marks the second year of Appetizer Hackathon 2022, hosted by the Ministry of SMEs and Startups and Korea Foundation for Cooperation of Large and Small Businesses and Rural Areas, and organized by Naver Cloud and Korea Software Association, Industry Association. This hackathon is held under the theme of new normal in the post-COVID-19 era, the beginning of innovation using cloud with the aim to add creative ideas to rapidly change the flow of businesses due to the post-COVID-19 situation in order to create a new better world. A total of 30 teams who came through the intense competition and passed the document evaluation has participated in this hackathon program. It, it has been an October, it has begun on October 18 with the orientation and successfully complete a week long mentoring session where we witness your passion and energy to the fullest. Also, we could meet many advanced prototype services, which reflected thoughtful feedback from each API company through the video evaluation. Today, we will meeting the result of a final presentation from top eight teams scoring the best result in the presentation video evaluation. So I believe all of you are wishing for the grand prize since you have participated so actively in this program. I am also very, yeah, getting nervous and thrilled. I'm so excited right now. So I can see that all the participating teams here through the online. So let's little spend time waving our hands all together and greeting all of them. Hi there, let's wave your hands all together. Hi, please show us bright and shiny smile. All right, thank you so wonderful. All right, thank you so much. Yes, and now let's start the award ceremony for Appetizer Hackathon 2022. Before we begin, 
Let's watch the short video clip first that capture the progress of eight week long Appetizer Hackathon 2022. Please show up. future of my application. Besides user inputs recommending existing website. Uh, revenue factors in it. You can actually tell that company it actually emits up more. Applies big data to people's real life, helping everyone to gain a better life with the help of technology. So business model, integrating with project management is the main business model strategy. So, uh, the company can do, do the CSR and additional benefit to the... You can see the results will be loading and you may need to wait for some time. So after the results are out, you will be able to see... This one is the targeted user. Alright, it is like the highlight point too for this switch. These are our sources of revenue to keep our business successful. The first one is commission free. And serve. Get 1% better every day about your uh, new language. Now let's go back to our bots list and we can actually see here we have this thing called EVE Pro on the top. Currently, there are not many solutions that provide an easy way for payments in the documents in the very same action. See if you see a picture man, you will bring up information on the document. So now let's go back to the previous page and then because we just came up with it, we need to refresh it. So, uh, you just have to follow the format and signatures immediately. And on the app, they are also informed on how to check. Once we are satisfied, we can use the copy button. Next, I'm walking you through our product search engine. Andy. As a link or a template for any of the users. We are fine with those changes.
All right, then. How wonderful. It was an impressive video clip that showed us their sincere effort to this appetizer hackathon program. All right, then. Let me move on next. Let's meet the bridge video of the final presentation delivered by eight teams that achieved outstanding results through this program. I'm Jason, and I'm the CEO of Sansan Tech. We're building Eve, which is the most powerful digital assistant. We're confident in saying this because our AI is backed by top companies like Landcode, which also powers Mercedes-Benz and Nike. Let's take a look at our Surface Book box. So we've actually provided it with a Surface Book user guide already. You can also use Eve Pro as a discussion partner when you're having trouble getting started on a paper. And it's just uh, the B2C model, so the, what, what's your, the, the major customer? So we're initially targeting the B2C model. As you can see, these are just some of the use cases that you can use Eve for, but it's very versatile and you can use it for almost anything, like a personal assistant like Jarvis. So Eve can integrate with their digital assistants and we can have a bigger deal that way. I live in Malaysia and English is not our main language. As a non-native English speaker, many of my friends and I have issues speaking with proper grammar. Then an idea struck me. What if we can transform these toys to repeat what the kids say, but in proper English and with good grammar? That's why many of us speak the same English level as the peers or friends or companions around us and presentation while we are practicing it, before we are actually doing it live on stage. To the internet because my concern was actually for my updating. What's your business model for, for, for this uh, kids lingo? So this could be a subscription model for the parents to see what the kids are speaking to the dolls and how they could help potentially help the kids improve the language. Hi, my name is Min, team leader of Little Ghost. So imagine if you are an individual seller. She just found Zoomless. It suggests training keywords and tweets for her. We target individual sellers, small size SMEs outside the technology industry to make use of the data that may result in products or services improvement or Twitter content improvement. So here's the resources that we use like React, Nevercloud, Flask, and Python. Then Medium, the merchant, yes. uh, they can uh, sell more products. We haven't done the test, but what we the, the goal of our website is that we want uh, our users to be able to use keywords. Hi, I'm Elroy from Team D2HD and our product is Get Going. Okay, so here's our problem statement. Ever since COVID started in 2019, it displays data visualization for tweets and updates on a weekly cycle. For front end, we use React and Next.js and we connect to our back end via the Axios dependency. Default initialize the for sale free keyword to search for tweets related to is returned over to our charts. So it maps, like a, it does a dot map over to it. Uh, this response, this object is something that you would want to work on. Twitter in the Southeast Asia support the, the small and medium sized merchants. Most of the people who use Twitter, I guess, um, enter into the younger people market. Good morning to the honorable judges. My name is Zahra and I am from Cookie Team Indonesia. So Swipe is a basically environmentally friendly app that will give user access to report environmental issues. The first one, as we know that the damage cases in environmental issues always increase day by day. And then, the second one, the number of the NGO environment sector is really huge. And then the last part is the execution here using API. And here is the diagram for the system using API. 
the they have more problems than they have money to solve them. So I like the idea that we're crowdfunding. Alright, so yes, we've already talked about the future development for this. Well, we will present that about our idea uh, in Hackathon Appetizer. The background for developer, second, key characteristic or development service to develop a web-based application designed to provide preparers, the authors of the book, continually require a corporation contract from their re my reference. One of them is final year student, whether undergrad, master or doctoral student. My reference will prefer a draft of the corporation document to be edited between the authors and the product developer. The web has provided a citation address for the book. In addition, patients can also use the bibliography application to cheat the book if the book is used by other parties. Okay, thank you. Do you know that SMEs or small medium enterprise are one of the country's backbone in terms of economics? COVID-19 affected not only our health sector, but also most industries too. This pandemic reduced customers who eat by nearly 50%. We provide a place for sellers and buyers to meet and carry out business activities in an effort to recover from the economic impact of the pandemic. From the SME side, SMIMS will provide mostly a dashboard, which is a dashboard for subscription, customers, and business insights. First, as a customer, it's easy to access and require no cost to learn using SMIMS. What are we waiting for? Let's face the post-pandemic together with SMIMS, a new way to see opportunity. We're Bruce Etta and thank you. API for payments, right? Uh, what are the other APIs used? Can you elaborate more? Okay, thank you for the question. So for the API we use, we only use Plankot and StepPay. Good morning, judges. Yeah, I'm Jensen Lim from Team Wedge Wolf. The first one is usually only big company will talk about climate change. This action can actually impact the whole entire team performance. I'm wondering if it's possible to have a solution that can effectively contribute to climate change. And I have created my own vision on this monday.com and this is my dashboard, my workplace dashboard. Food name to search for the ingredient which is using the food data center. Movement has become the unstoppable trend after COVID. It's become the new normal in the post-COVID. Jensen, sorry, could you repeat the part where you were saying how do you, how would you incentivize the consumers to to place the orders? So uh, they will make the payment by themselves. Thanks. Hope to see you all you. Bye bye. Ladies and gentlemen, please give them a big round of applause once again for developing wonderful outcomes in just eight weeks. It's unbelievable, right? And now I'm really curious to know who's going to be the winner of the grand prize. Now, before we carry on to the highlights of today's event, the award ceremony, let me introduce the first vlog event, one of the events held during the Appetizer Hackathon program. Several participating teams recorded a video clip of their development process during hackathon period and shared them with us. Among the candidates who submit the vlog video, we have evaluated and selected three winners total. The first prize winner will receive ninth generation iPad. Secondly, first runner up will get Apple Watch SE. Also, lastly, the second runner up will receive third generation AirPod. Wow. Now let's meet the winners. The this prize through, through the video and also we look of other participating teams, so please enjoy. Did you ever chat with hesitation because you're afraid you will make mistakes and it will be the end of the world because you have a bad grammar? 
If yes, oh, may I join you? I know the struggle to switch platforms just to correct my grammar. There are also browser extensions, but the problem is that we're using the native messenger platforms, so the browser extensions are out of scope. So in this hackathon, I'll do my best to address this issue. I'm going to build an integrated bot into the messenger platform so that people don't have to lag out just to correct their grammar. I am using the PyCanPy API for my grammar checker, a stay pay for subscriptions, and tend to play to study the user and have the ability to leverage more user experience. One of the hardest part for me before development is thinking what tech stack I'm going to use. Since choosing a stack also depends on several factors like hosting, budget, and support. Now I decided Nox3. Nox3 is a full stack open source framework on top of Vue.js. I'm also using Supabase, which is a Firebase-like but open source for authentication and database. I spin up my development environment and install the needed dependencies. I guess one of the struggles of using Nox3 is that I haven't used Vue.js for almost a year. It's a good thing uh, the documentation is really good and this awesome website always at my back. After reviewing the documentation and drinking my refresher, it's time to take some minor design decisions. No, no I just turned that off for documentation. Okay, and since I'm using Supabase, I also need to decide the data structure of my data. I just consumed several hours just to think of best structuring of the data since it's very important and crucial thing in this kind of application. After creating the backbone of the application, I started integrating my preferred APIs, PyCanPy, STP, and tend to play. In this hackathon, I am focusing on Messenger Meta, since it's the most popular messenger platform here in the Philippines. We can also access the platform even without data consumable, giving us the advantage in additional user engagement. First, I created a Facebook page and set up the webhook for the communication. Simply put, webhooks are URLs that must be called when an event occurs. Like, if a user from the Messenger platform sent a message to our bot, Meta will send a request to our endpoint. And once we finish processing the request of Meta, we're going to reply with a request for further action, like sending a reply to the user from Messenger. I'm also calling this bot History. For me, it's cool and kinda chill name. To explain the other functions of History, History allows users to buy subscriptions. History also provides a token to every subscription allowing the user to share their token with their friends and maybe they can maximize the platform like being a reseller if they want to earn some extra cash. Account owner can manage borrowing users. They can set up which is the main user, delete a user, and accept or decline user from using the token for security. History also allows user to upload documents to the process instead of copy and pasting sentences from documents to the platform. And to the future plan of Yesery, Yesery is also planning to enter the Kakaotalk, Discord, and other messenger platform that allow third-party services. That's for Yesery, happy checking! Hi guys! This is my first Hackathon vlog and I'm very excited about it. Right now, I am on my way to the school library since we have a team meeting. My teammates and I go to the same university, so we get together very often, like almost every week. Uh, but first thing first, let me just find a place to put this bicycle. I always forgot that I need to use my ID card to open the door. I think we need to hurry. Ta-da! 
these guys are my teammates. So the goal of the meeting today is to brainstorm more ideas for the prototype. We do have a prototype when we submitted the application to join this hackathon and now we're just creating more detailed ones so that we can use it to ask for more feedbacks from our potential users and also we will be designing the logos for our brands today. Very cool. <laughs> 180? Is it really 180? I don't know. <laughs> it's 280. 280. 280. If the text is sought by relatedness or order of alphabetic. More related. Probably there are not too much text or keywords related because it is the fixed amount of text we can type. Okay. So I think just click to like Maybe just click and and if you auto add it. Click it. Not. Uh, yeah. Because not, you, no. there's gonna be like a cursor right here, right? So yeah. you click it and then it will put like it will be placed here. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be this one, right? Or what? is it gonna? Are we gonna also use this one, or are we gonna have like a different like search? <laughs> on what I have built in this hackathon? Let's have a look. Hello, what are you saying? Hello, what are you saying? What are you doing? What are you doing? Do you know it's my name? Do you know what my name is? As non-native speaker, many of my friends and I have issues speaking in proper grammars. As non-native speakers, many of my friends and I have issues speaking with proper grammar. Isn't it cool? Now go to API Appetizer and find the API suitable for you and build it. Please give them a huge applause once again. 
Congratulations to all the prize winners for this vlog event. We could once again witness your pure passion and bright energy through this video clip. Okay, and yes, and you have so long waited here for this meaningful moment. Let's start the finale of today's event, the award ceremony for the Appetizer Hackathon 2022. Okay, I feel like I am the one of the team members. All right, today's award for a total of eight teams will be given to five third prize winners, two second prize winners, and one grand prize winner. Price of $1,000, $3,000, and $5,000 will be given to the third prize winners, second prize winner, and to the grand prize winner, respectively. All other teams who complete the Appetizer Hackathon long journey, excluding the prize winners, will also, we will also be given the participation prize of $500. So we hope all of you will stay with us until the end. Okay. Without any further ado, let's start off with the third prize winner, Mr. Hong Jin Kim, the executive director of Neighbor Cloud, will help us with this award ceremony. Let's invite Mr. Kim onto the stage with a huge round of applause. Welcome. Okay, thank you for joining us and taking your valuable time today. Now, let's announce the Honorable Award recipient today. First, the five teams for Appetizer Hackathon. Third prize are... All right then, now we have for third prize, Team D2HD, Team Sansan Tech, Team Vagabolt, Team Little Ghost, and lastly, Codec Developer. Congratulations, everyone, all the teams, all the, these five teams for winning the third prize today. We will take a commemorative photograph while presenting the prize of $1,000 for each team. Please make any kind of a special post like that to thumbs up or waving your hands. All right, thumbs up. Yes, great. All right, cheers. Thank you. Great, congratulations. That's a wonderful moment. Thank you so much. Really, congratulations once again. Thank you. Moving on, we will present the second prize teams. Mr. Hong Jin Kim will continue help us. All right, let me introduce the prize winner, second prize in this Appetizer Hackathon 2022 are... Please show up. Right, who's going to be the winner for a second prize? Team Cookie and Team Coder. Congratulations to both teams for winning the second prize in this Appetizer Hackathon 2022. Thank you for your hard work and energy and passion. Alive, look at the front camera with shiny and big smile. Right, thumbs up. All right, little heart to shape. Thank you, what a lovely... 
Wow, I love your yeah, big smile. Thank you. Congratulations once again. All right. Yes, great. And last but not least, let us crown the grand prize winner today's ceremony. All right then. Yes, it's now. It is now perfect time to for a long-awaited champion for Appetizer Hackathon 2022. Right, today's final champion of the Appetizer Hackathon 2022 is Team Bruschetta. Congratulations! Wow, they are all together. How wonderful, amazing. Right, yes, we will take a commemorative photograph by presenting the grand prize $5,000. Congratulations, okay. Please wave your hands to thumbs up, any kind of special pose. Great. And let's listen how they feel at this moment in their brief speech. Hi there. Okay. Please tell us how do you feel. Congratulations. Uh, I give NGF Pfizer Hackathon for helping me, Steven. Actually, all of us is uh, at library right now. At library right now. And kind of like, Unexpected to be the winner. So, once again, thank you for all the judges and for the competition, of course. All right, all done? Yes, lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you for your hard work and amazing presentation. We love your innovative ideas. We love all. Thank you so much and congratulations once again. And congratulations once again, Team Brutgesta. We once again would like to congratulate all a team, the winner in this Appetizer Hackathon 2022. And let's take a group photograph with them. We will now take a photo all together. Please look at closely front camera and make big smile. Right. All right. It has been a long journey right please give them a big round of applause once again right thank you so much that's wonderful moment we share today all right all done thank you thank you so much please give him please give mr hong jin kim for his kind help presenting this award thank you all right Congratulations once again to all the winners today. As I mentioned earlier, all other teams who complete the Appetizer Hackathon long journey, excluding the prize winner, also will be given a participation prize of $500. So thank you for your hard work as well. Next, we will take a group photo to conclude this award ceremony today to all our online participants here and please turn on your camera and mute to the microphone and make big smile ready and then all our guests on site would you please come up to the stage all together i'd like to welcome all of you on site and online please come up to the center of the stage all together it's gonna be so touched and memorable moment for all of us yeah everyone please Please stand center of the stage, followed by our staff's guide.
for online participants, can you hear me? Please make some kind of a special pose. You know what? Like two thumbs up, your hands. Yes, yes. Hold, yeah. Please hold this pose. Three, two, one. Make big smile. Once again. That's so wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Wow. This time's flying. Okay, then. This marks the end of the Appetizer Hackathon Program 2022. I'd like to give all of you for your sincere effort and passion and energy. Generating remarkable idea using this API program for the past eight weeks. I hope the Appetizer Hackathon will open up new opportunity for all of you. You will conclude, we will conclude the award ceremony for Appetizer Hackathon 2022. So thank you for joining us here until the end. This was the Rala, your MC for this wonderful and meaningful event. Thank you so much. Hope your happiness helps. <웃음> 네, 장대 계신 참석자분들께 다시 한번 안내 말씀 드리도록 하겠습니다. 바쁘신 가운데 함께 끝까지 이부 행사까지 자리를 빛내주신 여러분 모두에게 감사를 드리고요. 가시기 전에 저희 테이블 위에 저희가 제공해드린 만족도 설문 조사지에 네, 체크를 하셔서 등록 데스크에 나가시는 길 제출을 해주시면 저희가 기념품으로 접이식 장패들을 준비해 드리겠습니다. 앞으로도 API 마켓플레이스에서 많은 성원 또 관심 보내주시리라 믿습니다. 2022 Appetizer Day 성과 공유회 일부 와 2부 행사를 여기서 매듭 짓겠습니다. 여러분 적극적인 참여와 성원에 감사드립니다. 고맙습니다. 안전한 기각길 되십시오.